Um, so that's the back of our printer. It has more cables now. There is an extra cable to connect the power supply to the control board. Um, each motor has a own cable to control it. Um, what we need to assure is to to tie up the cables in the way that they won't scratch anything during the printing and also that there is enough length to move the, uh, the parts without uh, getting cables stretched too much. Uh, for extruder we will need this amount of, of cable to be hanging extra so the extruder can move up and down. So let's try to tie it up. Um, there is some uh, part like this that is available. We will try to wrap around the cables and get it in a better shape now. Uh, I will come back in a while when some part is done. All right, so we got it more tidy now. So this is the cable from heating of the bed. It goes here and it needs uh, more space. So when the bed is moving, it can freely move until the end switch. So it will be fitted like this. I think that's the best way. And the, there is another cable from the motor and power supply, which is completely on the bottom here. It takes the end switch here. Also, this guy goes there and it goes in parallel to the our bed cable. So we can move that part freely. Then I lower completely the extruder and uh, the cable from it is here around so it can go maximum up. And I can see that if we move it, we can have a free move without scratching of the cables. In behind I use this small strip to attach it so this part can move freely but it's not affecting this ribbon cable here. And it won't be damaged hopefully after some use. Right. And the other part is the power supply which is actually having this little and it's completely hmm. in Europe it's it's forbidden to to wire it like this so I, I might need to use these pins and this special tool to prepare the um, ends and then also we need to attach it securely with this tap I strictly um, I, I, I would say I, I strictly follow the rules that are required because this is a power cable and may produce some harm um, to kids or uh, people around if it's broken. All right, thanks, and uh, I will be back in a while. So that's the cable connection, and basically, this is tight, and if we pull accidentally the cord. It, it should not uh, break. So finally I got the uh, control board connected. So it basically uh, looks like this. The X uh, axle, X axis motor um, gets an extra hook here. So when it moves up and down the wire won't be too loose. Then I collect all the cables from this point, put them down here, so it could actually form this um, nice connection way. Uh, I change a little bit the connection of the bed, so uh, now this one goes to the hole here, and it doesn't actually touch anything. Uh, with the cable while moving. I think that was a recommended method from uh, from manual if I understood that correctly. Uh, the rest of the cables is actually uh, kind of loose here. They are not equal length. Um, so I 
I don't have at the moment anything to wrap around them. So I need to buy something, but uh, at the moment they don't get the... They, they, they shouldn't get any damage. So this one here was a part that was actually having a trouble here with the cabling. So I moved them on the bottom and catch them using this cable tie. So now when this part will move, the cables won't be damaged hopefully.